don't need visa. Okay, okay, I can see it. I can see it. Third of April 2014. This is a female four years old tradition spaniel that came in two days ago with a heavy tick infestation. This video is a behind to pets production brought to you by Tobio Vets. This video details the de ticking procedure used at Tobio Vets. Step 1 Physical Examination. A routine physical examination is performed when the dog's heart, lungs, and abdomen are checked. Especially, the gums are checked to, for anemia, which will indicate tick fever. The dog's gums are pink and not anemic. This means that the dog does not have tick fever. Good. Step 2. Blood test. This dog's blood test shows mucocytosis which means a high white blood cell count of 33 but the normal is 6 to 17 It also shows neutrophilia a high neutrophil percentage of 89 when the normal is 60 to 70 percent Step 3 Clipping Dog is clipped and bathed with insecticide This kills all the ticks on the dog so that in step 4 the dog's ticks can be removed the next day, dead ticks are removed from the dog. Step 5, follow up. The dog is sent home on antibiotics and spot on insecticide. Okay, this video shows that the, the dog has already been clipped yesterday and been bathed with the insecticide. So today, the ticks are manually plucked out from the body with uh, forceps before the dog goes home. As you can see, all those ticks are dead. So, so it's, it's advisable. Sometimes it takes one or, or two hours to pluck out all the ticks. Now these are where the tick bites had occurred, as you can see. These are the, the wounds, the tick bite wounds. And uh, it's more obvious on this head because of the white color of the, the skin. These are all dead ticks, so there's still much work to be done to pluck out all the ticks before the dog goes home. Uh, you can see that uh, the infestation is quite heavy, uh, especially if you look at the, at the top of the body. And uh, these are all dead hold the next sideways come, come down. You can see that uh, and I might you can see from here that these are actually wounds, tick bite wounds. And with these tick bites, some in this case the bacteria has gone in into the bloodstream causing uh, leukocytosis and neutrophilia. In uh, in, in normal dogs there, there shouldn't be any of this uh, increase in white cell count or neutrophils. Now the dog was treated with uh, antibiotics and uh, as you can see there is no tick fever because if there is tick fever the blood, blood, uh, red blood cells will be destroyed by the tick parasite, tick fever parasites causing pale gums because the dog starts to bleed but uh, since there is no tick fever, you can see the gums are still pink even on uh, day 2 of the de-ticking So overall, we just want to summarize it So to summarize the, To summarize We will look at the blood, uh, blood cell, the abnormal values of the blood You can see that uh, there is no anemia as you can see, the hemoglobin and red cell count are within the normal range. But there is a bacterial infection as evident by the large increase in the total white cell count 31 as compared to 6 to 17. And neutrophilia on increase in neutrophils percentage 89% when the normal one should be 60 to 70%.
Now, the absolute number, absolute number means the total number of uh, neutral fields. In a normal dog, it should be within the range of 3 to 11. But you can see it's nearly three times the higher range. So this, this is evidence-based uh, medicine whereby you, you take the blood to uh, check the health of the tick infested dog. Without taking the blood, you won't know what's wrong with the, what, how serious is this uh, tick infestation. So from this blood test, you can show that there should be no worries about tick fever infection at the time of uh, blood taking and also subsequently on checking the gums for pink color instead of pale white color then now the important thing is the, the bacterial infection as to what type of bacteria it is uh, and most antibiotics should be able to clear the infection and you can see that the dog has good appetite and is active and has no fever so it's likely that this dog has recovered from the bacterial infection. Now we will summarize the detecting procedure. Okay. Basically, the physical examination, the important thing is to check the gums in uh, tick inf infested dogs because of tick fever. Tick fever is common, commonly present in Singapore too. Then the step two is to take a blood uh, test. You know, in this case, we already show that it has bacterial infection due to the high total white cell count and neutrophilia, high number of uh, neutrophils. Then, after the blood test, we can we can uh, advise the owner as to the health of a dog, whether there needs to be antibiotics or anti-tick fever injections or any other serious problems affecting the liver and the kidney. After that, the step three is where the dog is clipped uh, bought, as you can see here. So there's no uh, no hair everywhere is clipboard so that uh, the ticks can be uh, can be uh, covered up with the insecticide bath. So when, after bathing the insecticide, most of the ticks will be dead, but they are stuck to the body. So when they are stuck to the body, the next day, step four is the next day where a person has to manually remove the ticks with forceps. And uh, these ticks, it may take as long as one hour. Because the, the reason for doing this is because the owners are not happy if you send back a dog with dead ticks stuck to the body. So that's why the dog has to be uh, uh, watered for one day at least so that uh, the day ticks are manually removed. So usually the dog goes home the second, second day uh, with antibiotics and a spot on insecticide given to the owner to apply. And uh, this, this spot on insecticide is normally given three weekly every three weekly or four weekly depending on the type or the brand and uh, the, the home surroundings is uh, fumigated in this case in this dog the grass the pest control main comes to fumigate the dog uh, the, not the dog the surroundings the grass the rooms and and uh, all the surrounding areas sometimes they use a uh, bomb and he sends that bomb to close all the, all the doors, the windows and and uh, smoke out the ticks. Other time they spray insecticide on the grass and uh, this is how they do the the deticking of the environment. So in this case, it is best that the dog does not go home first because the surroundings is toxic to the dog due to this uh, pest control people spraying insecticide poisons. Now in this dog, she will go home about four days later and uh, from then on the owner has to be careful and uh, by using either spot on insecticide and examining the dog every day especially along the, the paws for any ticks. Okay, end of uh, video.